What up y'all, welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Today's meal plan is going to be something for all of the plant lovers out there and meat lovers too. We should all be plant lovers, shouldn't we? Hey, if you're out there and you're thinking, hey, I'm not sure if going vegan or vegetarian is for me, let me tell you, just try it. The idea that you can and should be eating a lot more vegetables and they're really easy and they're very comforting and filling. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up, we are making a delicious vegan Cajun rice dish that is a little bit more like dirty rice, but we're just gonna call it maybe, we'll call it musty rice. What's that? <laughs> What's that? That's a terrible name. <laughs> you musty. Ooh, mm. you eating that musty, musty rice? rice my okay. Favorite. First thing you do, chop up all the veggies. Let's chop up the holy trinity, bell pepper, onion, and celery, and then some garlic while you're at it. Now, traditionally, dirty rice is made with a lot of parts of the chicken, like the liver and gizzard. Some people made it with that. We're gonna be using some vegan sausage. Next, we're gonna fire up a pot, put it on a medium high heat. Once it's hot, drizzle in a little bit of olive oil. In goes the holy trinity. Wait for those edges to turn nice and brown. Add in the garlic. And in goes our vegan sausage. Most important thing, to chop it up here in the skillet. Incredible. Smelling so good. Add in some Cajun seasoning. I've got my low sodium Southern Creole. Also gonna hit it with a little bit of fennel and some cumin. In goes the rice and stir everything together. And don't worry if they're sticking at the bottom, we're gonna deglaze in one second. Then pour in the veggie broth and use a wooden spatula to scrape the bottom of the skillet to get all that seasoning and flavor. Then we're gonna cover and cook this for about 30 to 35 minutes or until all the liquid has been absorbed. Next for our snack, we're gonna prep one of the most viral recipes on my site right now and that is Salouk. It is a Moroccan inspired eggplant mix. Take an eggplant, we're gonna chop this up into pieces. Recipe also calls for these little boys. Look at them, look at them. Set a heavy bottom pot on medium high heat, then add the eggplant, tomatoes, frozen garlic as a time saver, olive oil, smoked paprika, cumin, then sea salt and pepper, and then a little bit of water to make sure it's not burning. Then cover and cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Another recipe that you can cook, set aside, and move on. All right, for our lunch, we're making a delicious salad. Now don't log off, don't come, come back. It's a fun salad, we're making a cob salad. Now granted, it doesn't have the bacon and the cheese, but it's still gonna be really good. You can add in your own feta if you want to. Jesse, why are you looking like that? Are, are you a skeptic <laughs> hey, now? Hey, as long as you don't call it a musty salad, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mix tahini, fresh lemon, maple syrup, the real stuff, y'all. Frozen garlic and some hot water. Mix it up until it's smooth like an R&B singer. <laughs> okay. For this cob salad, we're gonna keep it really simple. We got some beautiful lettuce, some cucumber, radish, tomato, some red onion. As a time saver, if you don't wanna spend time boiling some eggs, you can just buy boiled eggs from your local grocery store. And I like to do this even on busy days. I'll just grab a bag of this and some toast, and I'm really good to go. I know that sounds real basic and terrible, but it works for me. All right, let's check on the salouk. Continue stirring and just let all of the water evaporate. And goes the parsley. Yeah, and you see all of a sudden, there's no more water and it's thickening up and becoming a paste. I enjoy my salouk with some pita bread or some mini bell peppers that I've sliced in half. They look like little nacho chips. Now let's check in on our dirty rice. Once the liquid has been absorbed, you gotta flake the rice with a fork and garnish with a little parsley. Jesse, I'm gonna give you the first bite. It smells so good. There it is, people. Ooh, look at that steam coming off. You're gonna be coughing, it's spicy, man. I mean, I'm not mad there's no meat in there, bro. Yeah. Flavor is yeah, on, on point. point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For our cob-ish salad, add the salad ingredients to the meal container, and then I grab this mouthwash cup, chop up the top, and then nestle that right into the meal prep container for the dressing. And for breakfast, we're gonna make a delicious plant-friendly shakshuka. If you never had it before, usually it's made with eggs. Instead of eggs, we are gonna be swapping in some chickpeas. First thing is fire up a carbon steel skillet, spray it with some avocado oil, then add the chickpeas. Salt, black pepper, cumin, just a pinch of cinnamon, and some white pepper if you had it for a little bit more spice. 
Gonna toss the chickpeas in the seasonings, then add a can of crushed tomatoes. Mmm, y'all, this smells incredible. I wish you were here. It's some harissa sauce. You can get this in your local store. Usually it's sold on the international food aisle. And then this is an optional ingredient, and by no means is it traditional, but this little Tex-Mex flair, I'm gonna add in a can of green chilies. Garnish with fresh parsley, then add it to your milk container, along with a slice of toasted sourdough. And there we have it, our delicious vegetarian meal prep is ready to be enjoyed for about three to four days with just an hour and a half of work. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's meal plan. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. This is an amazing, easy vegetarian meal plan. All you gotta do is make a few tweaks here and there, so that way you can customize it for your diet. If you like stuff like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below, and I also want you to comment below about any of the recipes that you would customize, or if you've had them before, what was your experience making it? Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthful, but of course, what? That's right, never ever boring. Boom! Bye peeps.